So there I was scrolling mindlessly, thinking about getting bigger, stronger and faster instead of actually doing it. That was until I saw this guy. This is Knees Over Toes guy explaining the Nordic. The Nordic was first published 140 years ago and being able to do this is the greatest common denominator between the world's greatest horizontal athletes because this is the greatest point of force in horizontal speed and jumping. Now, it doesn't matter which plane I run on, I'm generally pretty slow regardless. Let's ex excuse that touch for a second. I feel like I should be outpacing that person and you can see that my running stride, things like that probably aren't as good as they should be. But at a lot of football clubs I've been to, the Nordic is something that they use kind of during pre-season and always the fastest, most athletic people there do the best on it. And I've always been the worst at that. So why not try and prove some of my weakness and train it every day for an entire month? So I went out to the hardware store, found a plank of wood, built what I could, managed to get some bolts, bolt some stuff together. Not really a hardware type of guy, but this is how it came out and it got me excited to do them every single day for a month. You can see here, this is my first attempt and you can see I lose traction at about the 65 degree mark. Now, 65 degrees is the baseline. That's how, that's the eccentric portion of the Nordic. So we can compare that at the end of the 30 days. And then this is the concentric part, which is using my hamstrings to actively flex and pull myself up. This is the state I'm in. This is my first ever attempt at doing a single Nordic and have a look at this. <laughs> I don't even think that counts. <laughs> it's pretty much vertical. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, it's a bit fast, yeah. Get some boots. Can't even do five. <laughs> Now, looking back on this, I don't know why I found this so funny, but I'm just laughing at my own failure because I'm so used to seeing people just go up and down, up and down, and here's me failing at four reps going up and down like that. So I did find it quite funny. <laughs> Look how high it is. <laughs> oh. Please start the montage of me in one month time. So that's exactly what we did. I wrote down all the things I did every day for the 30 days, and these are the results. Actually, that, that wasn't me. But 30 day montage starts now. Let's go. <sighs> Five down, baby, let's go. I'm laughing at how bad I am at these, but because I'm so terrible at them, it means there's even more improvement to be had. So let's get going. I actually, I actually felt nearly horizontal then. Come on. Let's go! Yeah! Woo! You know what I 
need is the athletic ability to go along with the Nordic. Come on, get up! <laughs> We've still got a little bit of way to go. Let's finish this workout though. Let's go! Let's go! Alrighty guys, so I would definitely say that was an absolute success. Two quick things. Do I think you should do this every day? Hell no. I don't think it's the most efficient way of getting better at it. They're super taxing on the hamstrings, so I definitely wouldn't do it every day. I just wanted to push myself to do something like that every day because it seems like it's the only way to do it, otherwise I just forget about it. Now. I'll show you guys this. You can see that the Wednesdays and the Fridays, they were kind of my recovery days because I also had training those days. All I did was just slow eccentrics, really light load. If you're doing something like this every day, you can't just go balls to the wall, crazy intensity. You can't do that every day. You can only change like the three training macro variables. You got intensity, you got volume, and you got frequency. So, because my frequency is really high, the volume and the intensity of those sets each day will be differed depending on how my body's feeling, adapting, recovering, all those different things. But overall, if we have a look here, like the, what a crazy difference. I'm so stoked. Even if we have a look at this comparison here, you can see originally I could do four reps until my hamstrings gave in. I couldn't pull myself up. And that was at a height of like kind of seven mattresses. And then my best one, you can see here, I made it to four mattresses. I did five reps and a couple of sets at that. So that improvement is just massive as well. Uh, I did try at two mattresses, but that was too difficult for me. Couldn't get myself up, but it just shows we have that little bit, little bit more improvement to go. The next thing for me is definitely to get up from that fully flat position. Uh, I think it'll take, you know, at least a couple more months, but I'm definitely going to keep working at it. Not going to be doing it every day, but going to be implementing my training, you know, a couple of times a week. But that's pretty much all for me. I'm so, so happy that it came off the way it did. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. We got an Erling Haaland video coming out. We got a boot review coming out and some more training videos coming out. So be sure to be subscribed and I'll catch you guys next video. Connor out. See ya.